Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Salar Khan YouTube channel where uh, we've been discussing what we've been discussing about the power factor and its improvement. So basically the thing is that we uh, uh, we saw different cases, you know, how to improve power factor. We've seen that. What is the basic meaning of power factor? We've seen that. And we've also seen some operation economics, the cost analysis, basically. So the thing is, the thing is that a higher power factor is good, but improvement of power factor you have to pay a cost as well so the thing is you have to look into your pocket how much money do you have how much budget do you have in the previous video the example we saw we we, we took three power factors where one was the normal at which we were we were operating we we did the cost analysis on that one we had a particular cost then we improved the power factor a little we, we saw the cost in that one and then we degraded the power factor a little and we saw the cost in that one so the thing is you can see where you, you are going in losses where are you going in uh, in profit and savings so basically basically a, a higher power factor is good somebody says improve the power factor from 0.7 you one would say 0.8 the other say just take it to 0.85 other would say take it to 0.9 and you say no you take it to unity so if you're taking this to unity directly you are not an engineer you are just wasting time you know you have just heard that the unity power factor is the best power factor and you don't know anything else about it so you have to look into your pocket as well you are improving the power factor you are installing power factor improvement devices the leading kvr devices which has its cost right yes then there are power losses involved in that there are energy losses involved in that so they have got its own cost again so the thing is you have to look into your pocket you you take different scenarios for instance you want to improve from 0.7 so you take a certain number of power factors and see the limit through which you can improve with the help of the money that you have in this particular video we see the most economical power factor for us what would be the best option for us in the particular amount of budget that we have right so let us get started i'll give the heading is what it is most economical power factor now the weather has got very very hot very very hot you know from the next video maybe i think i'm thinking of turning on the fan you know but anyways so most economical let's say let's say before power factor correction we had what we have we have the power factor is cause of phi 1 right yes so the power rating would be what p1 or s1 the kva rating s1 this would be p1 upon cause of phi 1 or you could say this would be p1 times secant of phi 1 right yes can i not say this i can now let's say i have improved the power factor so i say after power factor correction the new power factor or the desired in this case is cause of phi 2 in this one the qv rating would reduce to s2 which would be let's say p2 so p1 and p2 are basically would be the same but let's say p2 upon cause of phi 2 and i could also write this as p2 times secant of phi 2 can i not write it i can now what do you have the savings the savings are what or the kva reduction or that you have reduced the kva by how much amount or you have saved the kva by how much amount is s1 minus s2 because s1 was greater s2 is less so s1 minus s2 you have the saving so that would be p1 times secant of phi 1 minus p2 times secant of phi 2 let's say the cost say the cost is given per kva the cost per kva is rupees x so the, the the rupees saving cost saving how much rupees have you saved by saving this much of uh, of this kva would be what let's say this is equal to c1 so this would be x times p1 secant of phi 1 minus p2 secant of phi 2 and is that clear till here it is now i told you that you know p1 is basically equal to p2 so i will write over here that if no losses are involved if no losses are involved so p1 is equal to p2 so you would say that the cost c1 this much amount you have saved is x times p also take it common x times p 
let's say this is equal to p and this would be secant of phi 1 minus secant of phi 2 clear so let's say this is your equation number one which is the amount saved by the kva reduction similarly you have what the capacitance the leading kvars taken by the capacitance that you are involved that you are installing is p times tangent of phi 1 minus tangent of phi 2 phi 1 and phi 2 are the power factor angles right yes so now the cost per annum of the capacitor let's say if say the cost per kvar of the capacitance improving devices is let's say y rupees and these are in per annums okay these are in per annums so which means what that over here you would have what the cost c2 the cost c2 would be the cost for this thing for perfect improvement devices this would be y times p tangent of phi 1 minus tangent of phi 2 is that fine it is now what do you have so the net savings the net savings are what i would write over here the net savings so basically what have you done is that you have uh, you know this much of amount you have saved but this much of amount you are spending this much of amount c1 amount you have saved by reducing the kva and c2 amount you are spending on the perfect or improvement devices so the net savings that would be c1 minus c2 so c1 minus c2 comes out to be what uh, so just do it please x times p secant of phi 1 minus x times p secant of phi 2 and then minus y times p tangent of phi 1 plus y times p tangent of phi 2 is that fine it is now for the most economical we take the derivative we take the derivative right let's say this is equal to c so for the most economical operation we take the derivative so we are we want the minimum cost we will derivate it to zero so i would take the d the derivative that is dc and what would i take it with respect to i would take it with respect to phi 2 why because we are moving towards phi 2 and phi 2 is the only variable in this case have a look x is the cost is fixed p the power is fixed phi 1 is the given the current power factor and similarly y is fixed is the amount rupees right yes so please do this so what happens is this with respect to uh, phi 2 is a constant would be zero this would be zero right yes then minus you have x times p and the derivative of secant is what this is secant into tangent right the derivative of secant is secant into tangent fine and then you have what this would be again zero with respect to phi 2 and then plus the derivative of tangent is what this is i believe tangent this is secant squared this is secant squared of phi 2 and now we want to get the cost minimum function so i would just stipulate it to zero right why because i want the cost to be minimum so what do you have what do you have over here have a look i would just write x times p x times p secant of phi 2 tangent of phi 2 and this would be equal to y times p secant squared of phi 2 so the secant squared would get out with secant p would get out with p what is remaining is x times tangent of phi 2 is equal to uh, 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 p is done i have y over here y times secant of phi 2 isn't it like this it is it is now what can you do for tangent just put it equal to sine my cos x times sine of phi 2 divided by cos of phi 2 and this is equal to y times for secret put it equal to 1 over cos of phi 2 so cos will cancel out with cos sine of phi 2 sine of phi 2 is equal to what it is equal to y upon x or from here you could see that phi 2 is equal to what phi 2 is equal to 
So uh, you, you can just write it as 1 minus cos squared. You can write it sine of phi 2. You can write it as 1 minus cos squared of phi 2, right? Why? Because sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. So from here you have it, this definition, you have it y by x, right? Then this is a minus, this would get to that side would be plus, this would be minus. So I would just write it this way, that cos squared of phi 2, this would be equal to what? It would be equal to 1 minus y by x. And if you remove the squared, so this would be under the root and this is the definition for what this is the definition for the most economical power factor this is the definition for most economical power factor and where has the squared come from where has the squared come from so have a look this is uh, sine okay this is sine theta so I need sine squared of theta first so I would just first make it equal to squared right and then this would be the case so you have a 1 minus y by x squared under the root. 1 minus y by x squared. Right? Yes. So this is what? This is the most economical power factor for us. So that we, if we go this one, so we can have the maximum amount of savings. Cause of phi 2. Why is what? This is the rupees per kvr of what uh, the, the power factor improvement device is per annum. x is the cost per kva per annum simple as it is if i have just a plugging in value example so what would that be uh, if i just write it over here so a steel scrap melting plant uses 120 kilowatt induction furnace operating at this is a 120 kilowatt induction furnace operating at a 0.7 power factor lagging the plant is charged rupees 200 per kva per annum rupees 200 per kva per annum if the power factor correction equipment in the market costs rupees 300 per kvr 300 per kvar is for the power factor improvement device depreciated by 10% find the most economical power factor depreciated by 10% the most economical power factor cause of phi 2 is unknown so if this one you just put it equal to cause of phi 1 your cause of phi 2 is unknown in this case rupees is 200 per kv of the maximum demand so this is your x 300 per kvr with the depreciation of 10% is your y just put it equal just put it in that formula the most economical power factor will be cause of phi 2 now from here if you see you can also find the power factor angle phi 2 phi 2 is sine inverse of y by x right phi 2 is equal to sine inverse y by x and then just could take the cause of it so try it that way that way also maybe this is possible i have not checked it although i have not checked it but you see it please so i just put the value 1 minus so y is what this is 300 depreciated by a 10 percent so i would just put a point 0.1 over here as well and divided by what divided by 200 and take the square of it and 1 minus this thing and take it under the root so the most economical power factor would come out to be 0 0.98 lagging this would be the most economical power factor this would be the most economical power factor is that it I believe that should be it what do you see A factory, uh, example 6.13 of the book is again this sort of an example. What does this state? So a factory which has a maximum demand of 175 kilowatts, PM is 175 kilowatts. At a power factor of 0.75 lagging is charged, 0.75 lagging is the initial power factor. Let's say this is cause of phi 1 is charged rupees 72 per kVA. 72 per kVA per annum. If the phase advancing equipment costs rupees 120 per kVAR. 120 per kVAR. 
Find the most economical power factor. Interest in depreciation of 10% of the capital investment of this. So you also have a 10% interest in depreciation factor. So again, have a look. This is your X. This is your Y. The most economical power factor cause of Y2 is what? It is 1 minus 120 multiply 0 0.1 introduce including the depreciation as well and divide by x which is 72 whole squared and under the root so this would come out to be what this would come out to be 0 0.986 lagging 0 0.986 lagging i hope that this idea is clear so I believe that I will finish this video over here because then it gets longer. I will do an example in the next video. I am, uh, this is very much hot over here, very much hot. You know, you can just feel the sweat on me. I, although I have, I have had a haircut especially for, for this summer season. But anyways, so this is the most economical. So the thing that I told you was from here that when you reach this step, when you reach this step, that is sign of phi 2 is equal to y by x so from here you can also find out the power factor angle that is phi 2 would be equal to sine inverse of y by x right yes and then what for the power factor for the power factor take the cause of the angle cause of phi 2 try it for this examples y is the cost of kvr equipment and x is the cost per kva find the power factor angle from sine inverse and then the power factor would be the cause of the angle so i will finish this video over here i will see you in the next video with maybe one or two examples till then take care goodbye